Good afternoon, Parramatta. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I've got a story to tell you and it's about Jesus. What the world doesn't know is what's going to happen to us as a human race. What's going to happen? The Bible tells us very clearly what's going to happen. And I'm going to share that with you today so you have some comfort in knowing that God's on the throne and he's in control. And uh, there's also a story about those that don't want to recede. But I'm, after I tell you what's going to happen today, you should be encouraged to seek more. So, the topic today is a thousand year reign of Christ. And so, the second coming of Jesus is at the end of a seven year tribulation and that hasn't come upon us yet. And so, but what happens during that period uh, is that the world is going to be purged of the unbelievers. <laughs> and so you're getting every opportunity, that's why I'm out here to try and help you. And so the Bible tells me that anyone whose name is not found in the book of life, they're going to be taken and thrown in the bottomless pit, or the lake of fire, I should say. Um, but what happens is a new era starts after that. That's the second coming of Jesus. And so what happens, he reigns for a thousand years. And there's many of us are going to be lifted up to be with him in the air and will return to rule and reign with him for a thousand years. So that's what I'm going to be telling you about and, and about the New Jerusalem. And so I'm going to read from Revelation 21, 1 to 5. That talks about this subject. And uh, just hold on. Here we are. The Bible says, if I can keep the page still. A bit better. It says here, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. And so that's what's going to happen is there's going to be, it's talking about a time when we're in a new heaven and a new earth is because after the thousand year reign of Jesus, we're taken up to be with him forever. And so already there are many saints that are still there with him and uh, we've just finished the wedding supper of the Lamb. What a lovely time. Seven year party. So what I'm going to do is just add a little more to that. <laughs> and I'm reading from verse 22 in the same chapter. It says here, hello. I did not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it for the glory of God gives it light. And the Lamb is the Lamb. The nations will walk by this, by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it. And on no day will its gate ever be shut. 
for there. Will be no night there. So there you go. I'm going to be reading from the last words of Jesus in the book of Revelation. And he says, Behold, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to everyone according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who have washed their robes That's why I've got a microphone stand normally. That they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs, those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. So there you are. You've got um, a story about the thousand-year reign of Christ, and you've got in the end what Jesus is saying about having the right to go through into the city, and so that's what we need to do is because that's what Jesus went on the cross for. He laid down his life so that you may live. And so, and what happens is this. If you believe that Jesus was crucified and he rose from the dead, you confess this with your mouth and you'll be saved. So that's what people need to do. It's such a simple thing. And the whole thing is, if you leave it too late, you're going to miss out, because time is very short. What you see happening in the world today, all these problems that everywhere, people are rising up against governments, well, that's a sign of the very last days, is because that's when the world is in turmoil. Once the church is gone, which is going very soon, once we're gone, where there's restrainers of Satan, and what you're seeing with these people that are doing these things, you'll see that that will rise. It's going to be totally and utterly chaotic in those last days. So do something about your salvation today. Don't leave it go. God bless you. God bless you.